Hey everyone, it's Blood and I'm back with another stuff, baby. Let's go! Today is Saturday, July 24th, and it's the morning time. It's roughly 5.40 a.m. Central Time. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm excited to bring some information to you guys because I got some information fresh off the presses. I'm excited to bring it to you guys. Um, with that being said, um, I've been updating the spreadsheet. Well, I did update the spreadsheet this morning. The prices may have been slightly off, especially on the rabbits. They may have been a little bit low. I noticed that the prices on the rabbits definitely rised overnight. Rised? Is that right? I don't know. It went up. Um, and then uh, with that being said, um, man, I'm excited to talk about this stuff, guys. So first of all, before we even get very far, because I know that this is going to be in the title of the video, guys, they have the jaws poster on here guys let me turn down the brightness just a little bit so you guys can get the full effect of the cloud give me one second here let's see if that makes it any better a little bit better so the jaws poster guys is coming out today they did not have this in the medium article i'm stoked i hope you guys are stoked the jaws poster in my opinion is now my favorite i'm excited for that one that's the one i'm targeting let's go baby which poster are you guys going for let me know down in the comments down below i'd love to hear from you guys that jaws looks sick with that being said um really quick um i also Let's, okay, let's pop into the spreadsheet, all right, guys? Let's pop into the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet will be linked in the description down below. If you need to know the price of any VB NFTs, you're going to want to come to the link in the description. You're looking for column I. It's the column with the header of 723. It's also the column where the numbers are slightly larger. We've got a ton of other data on here. we got a set prices page. We've got a low mintage NFTs page. These two pages both need to be updated. I'll work on getting this stuff updated once this weekend is over, okay, guys? But... What I do know for a fact is that the market prices page and the portfolio calculators page are 100% up to date, guys. I updated the prices on all of the new drops down here at the bottom. I updated these earlier today. I suspect that they're going to be pretty accurate for a while now. Um, I will update the um, supply numbers here in a minute. I don't know why I didn't do that. But, okay, with that being said, guys, I wanted to talk to you guys. Okay, I've got a trillion register shout out, so we'll get to that in a second. But really quick, before we get there, I wanted to talk to you guys really quick about something that I think is actually quite important for me to at least say, because I think some people might have some, some perspectives here. But I wanted to talk about selling NFTs for a loss. All right, guys? Selling NFTs for a loss. What's your guys' opinions about selling NFTs for a loss? What's your opinion about it? Think about it. Now, let me tell you. Some people are going to be strongly opposed to that, and I'm sure that there are some of you guys out there, no doubt. But I want to let you guys know about a little story yesterday that happened. So yesterday, before I made my video, I actually had two Jade Cthulhus, and I had one Assassin rabbit the red one instinctively what i did was i sold one of the jades for a loss and i sold it for like a 10 to 20 dollar loss and i bought an assassin rabbit for 250 okay so i ate a 10 to 20 dollar loss on that jade okay some people would have never done that but guess what happened the assassin rabbit after i bought it went up didn't it so the assassin rabbit right now is like 320. So although I took a 10 to 20 dollar loss on the jade, I bought the assassin and that went up like 70 dollars. So by selling for a loss, my portfolio was able to go up 50 dollars. So I just want to point that out to everybody. I don't know who needs to hear that. Maybe somebody needs to hear that. Um, sometimes. You have to sell for a loss if there's a big opportunity, and that's what I thought I had yesterday, and now it turned out that maybe I was right. You know what I mean? It turns out maybe I was right. Why else did I make that move? Answer me that. Why else did I sell a jade and spend more money to get a red labbit? I had to spend like 30, 40 extra bucks, took me down to like 12 gems. Like, why else would I do that? Okay, guys, with that being said, guys, let's pop back to the spreadsheet and let's do a ton of reddits here, guys. I'm going to try to go fast because there's just so many. Uh, first ever low mint, he got number 72, Gold Cthulhu. Shout out to our homie, uh, Sevitre. Let's go. Next, 
We got our homie Edward VH saying, been getting extremely unlucky lately, but holy, those drops were crazy. Our homie got the Ultra Rare Hunter and got a Bronze Cthulhu number 74. Shout out to our homie Edward VH. Man, it's all about the technique, man. It's all about the technique, man. That's it. Got to get the technique down. Next, we got a post from our homie LBS Power Group. Let's open it up. He said, I fell hard for these. And he, let's open it up because I know what this picture is going to be. And that's exactly what I thought. It's a full set of the choices rabbits. And I'm going to not, I'm, I'm going to agree with you, man. I fell for that set too, man. That's a dope set. Does anybody else love this set? Or is it just me and LBS Power Group? I thought this set was so sick. Next, we got our homie, Strong Rhino, the protector. We got the rabbit hanging out in the dark, protecting the home. Shout out to our homie, Strong Rhino. Next, we got our homie, Read It and Forget It. Got my 100th piece today with a protector and this amazing community showing up and bringing me to 1K followers all at the same time there. Y'all are amazing. I'm so happy. We're all here for this am i balling yet yeah man you're definitely balling shout out to our homie reddit and forget it next we got our homie jim fuego and he said i didn't even stand a chance and let's watch this man's video here i hope this loads up nice for the for my video but the timer ends he clicks buy now and he gets an error message okay man look okay now jim fuego i'm gonna give you two tips that i don't know if they're going to help you but these are the tips that I used yesterday, and I, I got two drops yesterday. They might not help you. I'll tell you these things, though. Okay, before both of the drops yesterday, literally like three minutes before the drop happened, I disconnected from my Wi-Fi, and I reconnected to my Wi-Fi. Then I noticed in your video, you waited for the timer to go to one, or sorry, to zero, to click buy now. I did the technique where you spam the button, and as soon as you see it switch and it actually takes, just stop spamming. It's not that hard to figure it, like, to stop it. It's really not. Um, let me know if that helps you out. I don't know if you're even going to watch this video. I really hope that helps anybody out. If anybody out there n didn't get anything and maybe you felt like you should have, try that stuff out, man. You've just got to switch up your technique until you find something that works. Do don't try the same thing twice, man. Next. We got our homie, Reckless Soul, right on Cousins. I like this photo. I like this photo quite a bit. We got the red labbit with the assassin. We got the choice cuts labbit with the protector. I think I got all four of those NFT names right. So shout out to me and shout out to our homie, Reckless Soul. Next, we got our homie, Jinferno. My shirt ended up giving me good luck. Got a book on the drop. Our homie's got the Burn Omi Burn shirt. I've never even seen that thing before. It looks like a band shirt. Um, and, of course, we've got the o uh, sorry, uh, the Book of the Dead. Some people don't like when I say the N-word, Necronomicon. Sorry. I said the N-word. Maybe that makes it sound like I was going to say something very inappropriate. But apparently Necronomicon is kind of like a, a word you're not supposed to say. But I don't know. Whatever. Next, we got our homie, uh, Winter Vacation 3316. Great additions today. Here's a look at my vault. P.S. Hey, Bud Thompson, I got a Nightwing. Shout out to our homie, Winter Vacation. Let's go. And the Nightwing hanging out in the back. I don't know if you guys can see it there. I'm seeing it hanging out in the little back area there. Let me just replay it one time. He's hanging out right about there. Hanging out there. Let's go. Shout out to our homie, Winter Vacation. Appreciate you. Let's go. Next, we got potential quality dash 35 call of cthulhu vault we got some we got mad call of cthulhu nfts we got the full set we got the becky clunan which is easily like top three top batmans no doubt we've got a little uh what is this uh uncommon dragon girl hanging out on the floor we've got the cthulhu hanging out outside oh okay i see the cthulhu okay that makes sense and we've got death hanging out there shout out to our homie potential quality next we got our homie comprehensive i aka true tech junkie the homie this man is insane let's go let's go let's go let's get in there whoa bro bro like, literally, you open that door, and it just immediately, it's like, what am I even, like, where, what dimension am I in? Let's go, bro. I love it. I love it. Let's go. Man, dude, this guy's got 
Look at this. Okay, there's some new pieces right there. There's some new pieces right there. Let's go. We got the we got the little full uh little Cthulhu set there. Let's go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's grotesque, man. That is just disgusting, dude. In the best most awesome possible way. I love that. Wow. What the heck man shout out to our homie true tech junkie man this guy's insane man this guy's absolutely insane we already know shout out to our homie sarah bro vintage this guy's got a vault full of absolutely og fas man shout out to our homie let's go sarah bro vintage next um we do have our homie tfu tfu -D -E -R -V -V. I got lucky on, I got lucky number 1111, such a cool mint, I hope y'all get something today, now, okay, I don't know if this guy knows this, I'm about to just break this guy's entire brain here, man, this is a cool NFT, and I noticed that a couple people here saying nice, congrats, okay, but I'm about to blow this guy's whole entire mind, man, that NFT is spe more special than you even know, dude, okay, so, check this out, guys. Let's go down to that NFT right now. That NFT is called Nightwatch, huh? Look at how many editions of this NFT there are. Look at how many editions of this NFT there are. There are exactly 1,111 editions of this. This guy literally has the very last minted bunny. Dude, this is a very nice NFT. That number is nice, but it might be even nicer than you're expecting. This is literally the very last mintage of this NFT, man. I think that's cool. Shout out to our homie. Next, we got potential quality again. Today was a good day. Our homie got the ultra rare, the hunter, number 242. Very nice NFT. Shout out to our homie, potential quality. And of course, last but not least, we got Omi's price trading at 0.002938. Omi can be your homie. I'm not going to be your dad. And nothing in this video is financial advice. You guys already know that. And Omi's price is up 3%. What the? 3% in the past 24 hours. Hope everybody has a fantastic day today. I've got some UFC today. I'm pumped up about it. We got more drops today. We just got an action-packed weekend. Man, this weekend is so fantastic so far anybody that was saying these drops were underwhelming i'm just gotta say take a look at the assassin rabbit and then tell me that that's just all i gotta say about it have a fantastic day everyone i'll catch you guys in the next video probably be later today not 100 percent sure i'll catch you guys later though either way peace